Tuning into the Frank Grouch Streaming Network. I'm your host, Frank Grouch. Welcome to the Ides of March. Very dangerous day. Uh, if you're not careful, you can get stabbed in the back and also in the front by your boy Brutus. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in to 98.5 WGCH. I am your host, Frank Grouch. Uh, this is all Grouch all the time. Coming to you live, as always, from the stoop. Um, it's Tuesday, March 15th. You are the Ides of March. Uh, thank you. Thank you for hanging out. We're on like day 15 of the Beware of the Ides of March Marathon. Uh, so after today, I'll probably start calling it something else because the Ides of March have passed. And yeah, that'll be the end of that chapter. But for now, it's the Beware of the Ides of March Marathon. And the Ides have came. The Ides have, they're on their way out. And it's just, you know... Hanging out here, trying to figure out what to play. Um, ignore the yawn. I put in a request with Square uh, for Babylon's Fall code. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, they'll show me a little bit of love, and uh, I'll get that code, and we can run through that game together as a friend, as a group, you know. Um... But yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out, man. So I'm going to put some background, game background music on while we sit here and chat. Um, I've been playing Fist, uh, Fours and Shadow Torch a lot, and it's a very fun platformer, Metroidvania-style game. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, you know how I get down in the middle of these little marathons, man. I'm just rocking something so I don't lose my streak that I got going. But otherwise, thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Frank Grouch. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've just been kind of hanging out, doing shit. You know, you see me here, you see me there, you see me almost everywhere. Uh, I pop in and out of the virtual the VCCs chats when when chaos emerald collector pop is running their streams i pop in and out of Imphys asylum every now and again when imps got the streams going you know you see me through you know if a certain unnamed streamer decides to ever stream you know i'm always floating around in there you see me all over the place man i'll be in and out of spots it's frank crouch man i'm here i'll be right back after a brief commercial intermission i'm gonna give you this break i know it's weird to start a stream and then go on break but sometimes you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna go put this, I got food plate over here, I'm gonna put away a lot of shit. I'll be back in a second.
All right, we back. We back, back. Like, back, back. Like, four flats in a Cadillac. Uh, back. Like, we back, back. Like, chiropractor. Like, we back. We all the way back. Not somewhat back. We 100% back. And we about to see what we can make out of this raw black. Because we got some... We got a bag back. And then we, we get the bag back. Because we got a backpack with the backpack. And so we backtrack over the... Uh, the fat pack. You know, that's what we're doing. A lot of rhyming going on. Whole lot of gang shit. I suggest, um, if you haven't seen it, take your time out of your day. Navigate over to your HBO Max app or get somebody who has HBO Max and tell them, hey man, I want a marathon of the Righteous Gemstone. And they're gonna be like, what? And you be like, yeah! I'm trying to mad. I'm trying to fucking, you know, uh, watch the Righteous Gemstones and see what this show be about. And uh, yeah, watch it. Watch the Righteous Gemstones. And say it with a sleepy face. Also, the soundtrack you hear in the background is is from the game Fist. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do tonight, so I might end up doing that playing Fist because I'm close. To, I'm, I don't know how close I am to the end. I just know that. Uh, I'm about to unlock something. I just unlocked a new move, so I gotta unlock another move. So I'm gonna see what's up. But yeah, man, uh, Righteous Jumpstones got me shooketh today. What happened to my fucking card? There it go. So, I mean, if you ain't got no plans to watch nothing in particular, and you're looking for a show to, to keep your interest, I suggest the Righteous Jumpstones. It's got John Goodman in it. Um. And that is the only information I'm going to tell you. Otherwise, you know, happy Tuesday. So just bear with me for a minute. If you got something to drop in my chat, let me know what's up uh, while I do this plant-based activity over here. Um, and then uh, we can chat about it. We talk about it. You know how I get down. Plant-based activities come first. And then we can really uh, get down after it, man. I mean, let me know. Humor me, y'all. Do y'all want to see uh, WWE gameplay? Or y'all want to see something else? If you say something else, I'll throw the shuffle on and see what we get. But I think I just ask real quick, see if the chat got any input. Anybody's out there listening quietly. 98.5 WGCH all crouch all the time. Playing all your requests and dedications as usual. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. Got the block on fire. You handle your biz. You said you wasn't ready for the stream, huh? You don't even know what that means, huh? You just decided to get you a new screen, huh? probably should learn one day how to use one because my one homie said they're clutch but I'm just like old school and I refuse to learn change and technology because I could do this it might not be faster but I mean this is how I grew up manual I'm just glad I gave up on uh, blunt wraps, quite honestly. Blunts, the leaf overall, unless the leaf is pre-rolled in the cone form. I'm not touching it. Shout out to King Palm.
What up, Boots? You got here right on time. I don't know what to play yet. And I was sitting here getting ready to ask the chat again uh, what you think I should play. As you can hear, I got the soundtrack to Fist in the background. Uh, Four is the Shadow Torch. I also have some side missions on Judgment I could rock out with. I got some WWE I can play. And uh, I could always pick up some seafood and try to mix it up and get a better run set up for seafood. You know. Just curious who's out there. You know, I got to talk for a minute. Because, uh, <laughs> funny moment today. I was coming home from work. And, like, the kids was out playing because it's nice out, it was nice outside today. So, like, there's a section of grass by my crib. In my yard. And then there's, like, the grass. And, like, they was, like, riding their bikes down the hill over this little bumpy area. Down this little ramp thing. Like, so my grass slopes down this little, like, wall joint. They were riding over the shit. I seen them before I pulled up. So, I got out. I was like, yo, what are y'all doing? Y'all good? They were like, yeah, we just riding our bikes down the path. I'm like, all right. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop you guys. It's fun, cause I mean, why the fuck would I chase the kids away? Just, you know, that's just as mean. Like, you know, look, y'all are being, y'all are generally being safe. You're not like, you're not causing no trouble. Like, you're riding your bikes in a small patch of grass. I feel bad that you're only stuck on this little bit of grass, but like, you know, it could be worse. You could be trying to throw rocks through motherfuckers' windows, but you ain't. You're riding your bike on a patch of grass. Go ahead, man. So I was like, look. Just be careful, you know, be, don't hurt yourself, and have fun. They're like, all right, cool. So I'm walking in the house. I got my tie on, my little pants, my shirt, because my boss is a dick. Uh, and they were like, hey, are you a manager? <laughs> and at first, I kind of felt bad, because, like, that is that is an urban, that is a very urban thing to say. Like, the moment you see a dude in a tie, the first thing you think is they're a manager, which, like, sucks. And... Granted, I mean, I'm, I am, but I'm not. Like, I have managerial ability, and, like, if you put some people under me, I could do it, and we'd have a solid team. But I'm not technically a manager. Like, it's not, I don't like that title. I hate that title. Never liked it. But are you a manager? So I'm like, I just like, yeah, I'm not going to argue with the kids. Yes, I am. I am a manager. I be managing shit. Manage my temper from these white motherfuckers at work. That's what I be managing. But, but, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope my boss didn't get upset that I was sitting there with nothing to do today because I had asked him for the three things I needed to finish the project. He gave me an hour and a half before he gave them to me and I never got them. So I told him, I was like, uh, <laughs> nah, but I'm sitting here like I'm on, like I'm sitting there waiting for him to give me the logins, the shit that I need, and he didn't tell me the trick, like, he didn't tell me none of the tricks, he's just like, you need to use this, alright, but, like, if there's a trick and you don't tell me, how am I supposed to know, so he's just, I'm just sitting here, like, I need the, I need to log into the fucking, you know what I'm talking about, I need to log into the ups to, you know, review it, and he's like, oh, you need to do this, oh, okay, why didn't you just fucking say that an hour ago, I'd have been done, an hour ago, like, I was waiting on one thing, and he didn't get, and, and then, the other side of that, one of the drones I had to log into, uh, like, act, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sitting here, like, I asked you for this all at once, because he said to me, hey, save all your questions till the end, if you have any questions, bring them to me all at once, let me tell you how we don't, but he wants, oh, nigga, there are so many things that would be good ideas, like, he said he wants me to read, he wants me to listen to the This Week in Tech podcast, right? Because he wants me to get updates in security. So I listened to the first, I listened to one podcast last week. They don't talk about shit about security. It is a giant overarching tech discussion. Like this week they were talking about how the Facebook Meta Campus is taking away the laundry service for its workers. What you want me to listen to and what you think I should listen to and what I need to listen to are not the same thing. Like... You want me to listen to this? That's not what you want. You think I should listen to some shit about security and tech? That ain't it. How about you just give me the rundown of what's going on because you're in there and then I'll go find more information. Like, hey, you should look into, you know, this Russia situation and check on some of the security stuff. No, man, you are the boss. <laughs> this is your life. I do a job. I'm not going to be sucked into a sad down spiral where everything I do in my life is just 
network and securities. No, you provide me the information that you think I should go look at. And whether I decide to go look at it is up to me. If there's a new update and you don't disseminate that information because you're going to get that information first because you're the guy who sees this shit before I do. If you don't disseminate there's a new update out, probably not going to know. Because once I clock out at five o'clock, my shift is over, which means <laughs> unless it's like legitimately a nast, a massive work, like work related thing, and it's like hitting all of my news sources, I'm not going to see it. I probably can't check out CNET site. I can probably read the whole site. The, the, the only thing that's blocked on, the only thing that's blocked on, on our, our computers right now is like Facebook. Uh, I think NBA.com is blocked. Uh, oh, I'm not going to, I, I haven't listened. I listen. I, I, I fucking, so, okay. This week in tech isn't a bad pot. Like I listened to the first episode. It was, it was all right. It wasn't like a boring, slow show. It was just, wasn't what he, what he explained it to me as like, I think he wants me to watch the security now podcast, but like either way, dude, you taking up time that I don't. I don't want to do like I barely want to study for this net plus test. Thank you, boots. Put it in a throw it in the stoop somewhere. Um, wherever you think tech technomancy or learning annex or office space, one of those three. But like I don't techmeme.com. Okay. Like I don't I don't mind learning more information. Okay. I'll see if I'll see if I go to that website tomorrow at work. But like. I don't mind the more information, but like, dude, you wanted me to read a shitty book that has no bearing. Like, I'd rather work on working. Ooh. I'm gonna piss him off and get a jump on his shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, one day it'll all just click and I'll just do everything you need. But I still gotta study for this dumbass A plus test that I really absolutely do not wanna take. But like, I guess I gotta get it right. Like I don't, I do not want to take this test. I am against. I think the concept of the test, the test is gatekeeping anyway. Cause like, if I can Google all the information I need after I take the test, what's the point of having a certification? Like, you know what I mean? Like all the all the information that is on the test. Once I get the little certification, I Google the answer in the future. So what what purpose is the certification? Like, it's just some stupid gatekeepery shit to allow people to, to have a reason to tell you they won't hire you. You're good. We, listen, I opened a whole learning annex in the stoop and nobody's been in there to learn. And I get it. It's so much. I, tr I, I fucking started watching the Professor Messer videos. I got a 70. I can show you my notebook of how much notes. It's not. And it's like, dog, you're requiring this shit because you want to seem important. You want to really seem important? Explain to me why you haven't got an award in four years for the one thing you could probably be good at. So obviously there's a better company out there. He's so stuck in his fucking ways. It's like, dog, you gotta relax, man. I can do your job. I can do your work. But like, you gotta chill, bro. Like, <laughs> times have changed, man. A plus certs are like damn near moot. They're good if you want to get paid more, but like, I can do everything on an A plus cert without the cert. And if I can't do it, I know Google exists and I can figure it out from there. Shit. But you know, white dudes in power, man. It's gotta be their way or the highway. Burger King ass niggas. Whatever, man. Just pay, make sure my check's clear. Oh, here's another thing you wanna know. So it turns out in my company, there were a total of four people, right? on big news I don't give a fuck about prospects um there were there are there are currently four employees at my company right it's me the the social media website developer there's I'm sorry there's five people there's the boss's daughter who's the office manager and then there's like a marketing person and then there's the boss. So there's five of us, right? Marketing person is part-time. She works like Monday and Wednesday or some shit. And then uh, his daughter, 
is only there as like a fill-in. So she's not even the real office manager. We had an office manager who had just literally just quit the other day. The other fucking day. Um, I haven't gotten my pay stubs yet. Two paychecks, zero stubs. So office manager just quit. So here's what happened. I'm going to tell you the story because my coworker told me this uh, yesterday. So, um, my boss, he, she, the, the office manager used to come in because she worked part time. She got a new job. Office manager used to come in and and do like payroll and shit and like all the side work stuff on the side on like a Saturday, right? Office manager got a new job, right? And office manager was like uh the office manager was like look i got a new job i can come help you on the weekends but like you know i don't know if i want to drive all the way up here so she asked if she could work from home mind you she's part-time and all she's doing is like manager payroll shit right boss was like nah you got to come in on a saturday at 7 30 in the morning because he wanted to watch her work right first of all I don't care how you work. As long as my paycheck is on time and my pay stuff clears, you got it. You know what I mean? Like, do your thing. So he's like, you got to come in so, you know, so you can basically micromanage it, right? So my coworker was like, yeah, she ended up quitting because she texted the boss and was like, hey, you know, I don't want to drive all the way up there, you know, because I don't have the gas for it. If you cover my gas, maybe I can make it in there. He's like, no. I can't something something you have another job he's basically an asshole about it so she quit so we don't have technically you don't have a payroll there's no HR department there's no technically there's no payroll team so like you worried about you worried about me and my a plus certification you better get yourself an office manager my nigga <laughs> because you worried about the wrong thing I will I will take the experience that I've learned here what little bit I have and bounce. <laughs> I will spend my measly little 50 bucks on a fucking, on this little test paperwork thing that I seen on the internet and I will gladly study and get this shit right. I just do not want to do it. Like my biggest thing is he, he technically can't afford to fire me right now. Like to the point where he's doing everything by himself already, but like he's been slow dripping me access to shit and like getting me ready to do stuff. And I'm like, dog, you gave me a checklist. Give me everything you need me to do so I can just work during the day. Does the is it does the Google one give me the same same certification? Because if the cert, if the certificate is equivalent of A plus certification, I'll do the Google one. The issue is he wants the paperwork like he wants the certificate to be like, yeah, you're a certified A plus technician. Da, 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 da. So if the Google one is equivalent to the test, then yeah, I'll fucking do that. It's easier. But like, you know. Like I said, man, old white dude's weird. But since that's where I'm at, I got, uh, I, I, I hate tests, like as a person. Kyrie is acting foolish. For those sports fans out there. Right, okay, so, all right, so people are just dick-eating Cisco because it's Cisco, is what you're saying. Yeah, like, it, it's because the, the certification doesn't mean shit. It's just a way to, to see more. It's like... The certification is essentially almost like a high school diploma. The high school diploma doesn't really mean shit. It just means you graduated high school. That's all it means. There's absolutely no reason to have one because you can get a GED and go to college. So, like, what the fuck is the point? It just shows that you went and graduated high school. That's it. So, I mean, I can understand why. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fair. Let me tell you how I got stuck on this one section because I'm like, 
It's the same thing. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like one degree off. There's uh, the 802.11 wireless network shit. Oh. Send, put the Google information in the, in the securities chat too. If you could, Boots. I appreciate you. Because... Oh, fuck that yawn. Because I ain't gonna sit here and, and, and have to stress my brain out. If I can get a certi- if I can get certified for the same thing for less time and probably less money, and I can just take that with me to a different job, I'll do that. And, <laughs> and that'll be all. <laughs> like I, I, cause at this point, I'm not gonna stress myself out. Like I'm this is like the only tech position I've been in in the last ten years. Where I actually have to wear a shirt and tie to work every day. Every single other tech position I've been in was t-shirts and jeans. Or hoodies. Like, is like we work behind computers, man. Why do I need a tie? And the fucked up thing is, I'm tempted to not wear a tie to work one day and see what he says. Because he doesn't wear a tie to work. And his excuse is he got a metal plate in his neck. And in my head... They don't put metal plates in your neck because they want you to have range of mobility. And you don't have a problem turning your head. But like, hey, man. Dog, it's five people. Fuck this culture. Because your daughter's in here with jeans on. So if I show up with jeans on, I don't want to hear shit. Like, I'm, I'm being, <laughs> being generally nice, man. Like, oh, I, I also hate favorites. Like, I hate people who play favorites because... Me and, uh, me and my other co-worker was talking about it, man. He, um, she, um, the daughter could get away with murder. Like, she came in late one day, left to take care of her fucking dog. I'm gonna work from home for the rest of the day. And then she cut out early. Like, hold on, bitch. I can't do that. What the fuck? Like, if I, if my dog got out, I'm just shut up luck because I can't leave for the day. I had to go to court last week. Went to court, you know, came back from lunch 30 minutes late, Right? I took my lunch break because I'm taking as close as I can to go to court, you know, hoping that, you know, I cover the court time and I'll be back, right? I took lunch, went to court. I was done ahead of time. Like, if I had did exactly, if I had just took my lunch, went to court, right? Took my lunch, went to court, I'd have came back. Like, if I just used it for court, I'd have came back with, like, time to spare, right? But I used my lunch to lunch so i went to court i went home made a sandwich ate the sandwich used the restroom because my lunch time is my constitutionals and then i went back to work i was 30 minutes late he sends me a message at the end of the day hey do you want to stay later or do you want to make it up tomorrow for lunch i just i'm making up tomorrow why the fuck would i want to stay later like why why would you don't even give me the option to leave early so why would i want to stay later if you don't give me the option to use my lunch to leave early so no I'm not going to stay later. And it's like, I want to say shit like that, but I can't. Because <laughs> he's, I know the type of dude he is. He don't like to be challenged. Uh, I can tell. So, I'm not, I just, you know. Like, he's a, he's a diminutively statured man. <laughs> and I know, like, I'm fairly certain he did not expect me to be, like, a black dude when I walked into the interview. Also didn't think he expected me to wow him with what I know about computers and shit to, to for somebody like me who doesn't really care about computers and know as much as I do and know how to grasp that shit fairly quickly I'm just kind of like stuck where it's like I gotta take your slow ass fucking IV drip of note of learning and god damn <laughs> is it slow there's a spreadsheet I've been there since the beginning of since uh, February 14th right <laughs> We have client numbers for each of our clients that are like a three digit or four digit number that like identifies the client in certain areas, like when we gotta log in or something, right? I just got the spreadsheet that has all the clients, all the client numbers, and all the primary contacts for those clients today. And like what's funny is like I'll have to ask him, I would have had to ask him for you know, client numbers and information. And like, he would get visibly frustrated for me asking questions, but like, dude, you didn't give me everything from the beginning. So like, I gotta, I gotta go and I'm fine. 
And like my number one thing is, oh yeah. My number one thing is I ask questions as they pop up because I don't, I, I'm not a hold your questions to the end person. It's not my style. I got a question now. I want the answer now. I don't wait, you know, till the end. But so I would ask him and then he was like, he got annoyed by that. So he was like, I need you to stop interrupting me and make sure you have all your questions at once. And that way we can solve the problem. So I did that today. I reserved all of my questions at once. So I walked in there. I was like, I got this question, this question, this question, this question. I need access to this, 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 and this. And I also need this. He was like, okay. I sat there for an hour waiting for him to do anything to help me progress forward. Welcome to the party, pal. Blaze, appreciate the follow. Thank you for following, Blaze. It's always good to have you here. Um, welcome to the stoop. You are in the middle of my work lamentations. So like, I asked him for a bunch of shit. It took him an hour to get what I wanted, what I needed. I didn't even want it, I needed to do this for the job. So it took him an hour. So I'm like, he only gave me, but like four types of tickets to cover. So like, I cover those immediately because they're easy. I can do like four or five of them at once and like, I'll be done with it, right? So, oh, do I still have followers? Hold on, Blaze. Hold on a second. Because I think I still have followers only mode because I saw motherfuckers was raiding. Give me a second. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. You should be good now. Sorry. I was, I was, there was assholes running around raiding and there was like no mods present so I just made it easy for myself because my, my fucking uh <laughs> I forgot my fucking OBS is slow but yeah thank you for the follow I appreciate it you caught me in the middle of a work rant um so yeah he uh he was all like yeah he gave me so he gave me this shit and like I get it done and I asked for one specific thing and I'm like so I go back in there and maybe like 45 minutes I'm like hey uh just so you know I, uh, I need, I need this, like one piece of thing to log in and finish everything. Like literally I, I essentially phrased it. So like, if he heard it, I basically said, I'm waiting on you to give me what I need to finish. Like, cause he walked by my desk like three times and I'm sitting there and like, I'm tall. So like, if I look at my phone, I hunch over by default, I'm sitting here. Like, I don't want to listen to my sports shit while I'm at the, I don't want to listen to the sports shit while I'm at the job. I don't want to watch like my comic book stuff while I'm on YouTube. I don't really want to watch shit other than like music in my ears just so I don't lose focus. He's walked by my desk like five times and I gotta, I look, I fake busy so well. I've been doing it for years because of the military. I will just move my mouse and click the same six pages over and over again because one, the tickets he gave me, I can do in such a quick fashion. I don't have to like, I'll be, I will be done the work, the busy work you gave me in like 10 minutes and I'll look less busy because I have nothing else to do, which is like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like I got yelled at, okay, Monday. So there was a, there was an issue like over the weekend, some, some companies power, some ups kept going on and off. So we ended up getting like 4,000 emails over the weekend, letting us know that the power was going on and off. I had to sort through 4,000 emails and make sure I wasn't just deleting useless email, like important shit as I went through it. So like, you can't just go through 4,000 emails like that. It takes a little bit of time. So like, I'm going through the emails and then I had to, to get the tickets off the board that were all like the errors and shit that were from the weekend. What's up, Kai? Oh yeah, we're talking about micromanaging. Um, I had to get all the tickets from the weekend, two days worth of tickets. So if I got 4,000 emails, that's about a thousand tickets, right? Or I'm sorry, it's like it's, it was like 300 tickets when I sat down. 4,000 emails because the system is set up to alert us every time the ups fucking moves. Like if that shit blinks, if somebody sneezes near it, if the power goes out for like half a second, we get a fucking email. So like 4,000 emails. Oh yeah. So you, you kind of understand, like you get it. Like it's, it's the similar, similar bubble of, of tech issues, but like 4,000 from like one company. So I'm going through the emails, cleaning this shit up from the weekend. I'm also making sure I get most of the shit that I can see on the fucking ticket board 
because he wants me to only do certain types of tickets. Hold on. Just turn my music off by accident. There we go. He wants me to only do certain types of tickets, right? So I can't, it's way too much. But the lucky thing is I have filters in place that make my, um, I have, no, I have filters in place that like let me know how important they are. So like I have it under control, but like it's still a lot of fucking emails. So I'm do, it's doing this thing. I clean out 500 at a time because I'm good at, I'm good at managing my shit. Get them all down. And the fucking, all right, my emails are managed. Took me about 30 minutes, right? So I go back into the ticket filter. I got to clean up tickets, but they're interspersed with tickets I'm not supposed to work on. So like if I go get five of my tickets, right? Then now the board is clogged up with more shit in the way. So I got to like look and make sure I don't grab the wrong ticket and then put that shit in the way. So that takes time because I don't want to just run. Like I don't want to rush through and make the mistake because if I make a mistake, you're gonna chastise me instead of being like, oh, it's cool, man. We'll just fish out the trash. Like, and then uh, I ignored, I completely ignored this email altogether. He was like, oh, when you come in on Monday, we had to talk about how you handed the priority call for, for, for one of the customers. And in my mind, I'm like, dog, number one, your call system is fucking stupid. He's got this thing and I've seen it in action. He said, if it's a priority call, let me know because I will I will stop everything and take care of it. I've told him there are priority calls and he did not stop everything and take care of it. So like, who are you lying to? You lying to me, you lying to yourself, you lying to the customer. Because if you lying to me, don't do that because I don't care. I got, you know, I gotta impress me much. I'm not Shania Twain, bitch, don't worry about it. Uh, are you lying to yourself? Because I can see that you didn't go fucking get this thing on priority. And if you're lying to the customer, just fucking don't. Like, just dog. Listen, you are, he is, there are five people at the company. Five. Him, the marketing manager, his dumbass daughter who was, who's the office manager, the co-worker that I'm kind of cool with, and then me. Five. He won't train me fully to be able to do shit to help take the load off of him. So it's technically like four and a half. I've been doing the same general function for the last week. I got this shit down to a science to the point where if you send, if you can give me, if he gives me the logins that I need, because he's got them shits gatekeep so hard, you would swear he was trying to hold the fucking secret to Narnia behind that bitch. If he gave me what I needed when he sent me over the fucking uh, checklist to do the next customer, I'd be done in about an hour and a half. Most of the time I'm spent trying to get this shit done is waiting for him to send me the access so I can check shit. I even got a little system down. If I check something I know I gotta see later, I just take a screenshot of it and move it to the side. Shit is quick. I'm fast with my shit because I don't like to double, I don't like to double back and I don't like to do it. But the problem is if I do it too fast, I ain't got shit else to do. So I gotta like take my fucking time because he won't give me more than one at a time. Like I'm not gonna do them both at once, but damn, if I know I gotta do fucking review A and review B and review C today, I'll be more inclined to do review A and B and C faster because they're already here, they're already ready to go, and it's already everything I need to do my fucking job. But he wants to slow drip me like I'm a fucking morphine IV or some shit. Come on, dog. Feed me to work so I can do it. Damn. I don't even want to like it. And the sad thing is, the job ain't even hard. <laughs> it's a very easy job. It's just he's making it extra difficult because he's adding so many unnecessary steps. And I gotta wear a fucking tie to work all day. And I fucking hate ties. Ties make me angry. I wore a tie for four years straight in high school. You know how happy I was? The last day of high school, I didn't wear a tie for 10 years after that. <laughs> 10 consecutive years, I didn't wear a fucking tie. Except for like 
a funeral and job interviews. That's it. But those don't count because I'm always going to look fly at a funeral because I want to be funeral ready and not casket sharp. And then you got to wear a tie at a job interview because you want to impress the white man who's interviewing you. I wish people were a lot more lenient. Like, they never let me be the interview guy because I'll interview somebody and I straight up tell you, look, man, are you comfortable right now? They're like, nah. A dickhead who's stuck in the old ways? That's the only answer, man. He's stuck in his old ways, man. That's the only answer I can give you. Because, <laughs> Blaze, if, if I, I could, if I would, I'm trying to... I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to negative this job. I don't want to neg this shit because it's not a bad job. It's a good place to learn. It's a good, it's a good place to get my feet wet as a systems admin, um, on the back end. Like I can get shit. He's going to, he, he said he would pay for my fucking Cisco certs, but I don't want to, I don't even want the certs. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't want to do this job. Like, I tell everybody, I tell all the people, I don't want to do IT. I hate working with computers. I absolutely can't stand it. But I do it because I'm good at it. Like, it's like customer service. I fucking hate, I hate, big, bold, capital, yellow letters, hate fucking customer service, right? But, uh, wait, Siri's here? Oh, sir, my bad. I read that as an I. Yeah, like, I don't mind doing it. It's just I hate the fucking job because I don't like that job. I'm not a fan of working. I don't like that shit. I want to work in radio, work in the, the production side, play with music, fuck around with, like, audio and shit like that. I like working in entertainment. That is where my jam is at. Work, sitting stuck behind a computer all day, clicking away at a mouse, just fucking click, 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 scroll, click, scroll. Scroll, click, click, scroll, click, scroll. Fucking can't stand it. It's fucking boring. Like, <laughs> I don't even hate it because it's, I think my biggest issue is I have to sit in this office and it's like, I would, I would take, if I could take, if I had the patience to learn code, I would definitely do that. I would love to do projects, but you know. He told me I had to dis I had to disengage the server coming up soon. I'm like, cool. I'm fine with that. Send me everything. I gotta. I, I'm waiting for ups to come in so I can go off site and install this fucking battery for ups. Yes, please. Give me that. Let me go and screw in these fucking screws so I can just be happy. Like, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to see if there's a company nearby that needs an IT dude where I can just work in your office and be like, hey, watch it for threats. Making sure your logins are good. I got you. But like. I, I'm not, I don't, I don't hate the job. Again, it's just the manager needs to relax. Like, it's one of those like cases where it's like, dog, you, you really got to take a step back and just like breathe for like five minutes, man. You are, you are strung the fuck out. Like we were wound way too tight, and like, like it's to the point where like I know he's wound tight because I, I put like this. When I meet somebody for the first time, I'll, like, if I'm going to be interacting with you for an extended period of time, I will fish around because I have, I have a very broad range of interests and things that I've watched and seen, right? Like, very broad range. Like, very, I can't explain how broad this range is, but there's a reason why I call myself a Joan of all trades. So, I will do my best to fish around and see if there's, like, something that we can talk about at work, like, you know, converse on and just have like a middle ground, be it sports or like, uh, usually, usually it falls into sports. Cause like everybody likes, most people like sports. So I can, you know, you baseball fan, basketball, football, hockey, soccer, tennis, boxing, golf, whatever. I'm pretty versed in sports to the point where you can tell me you're a cricket fan and I might not understand the concept of the rules, but I'll watch enough cricket I will gather some information on cricket and discuss it with you just so I can get better at it. But like, I asked him, he was like, oh, I'm not a sports guy. All right. Okay. He's like, I'm big in the IT. Okay, cool. So you like sci-fi and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like sci-fi. Okay. So like, did you see, I think I named something. He was like, nah, it was too dark for me. I don't like dark sci-fi. I was like, oh, so you like, you saw Eureka, which is like the opposite of dark sci-fi. He was like, nah. 
I didn't really like Eureka. It was too, uh, it was too whimsical for me. So I'm sitting here like, you don't like dark sci-fi. You don't like Eureka because it was too whimsical. What the fuck do you like? Like, what, what the fuck do you enjoy? Like, how do you have fun? So, one day, we're sitting in the office, and his daughter, office manager, is, like, looking at artwork to hang in the office, you know, because he's looking at artwork to hang in the office because he's get, he moves into little little side office, right? So, that's cool, but, like, all the art that he looked at was just nature photos of, like, bridges and trees and like <laughs> like weird like it's not weird that like you know it's not weird that you like that shit but like you don't have no other hobbies like you don't do nothing else you just you just watch trees my nigga like you are an arborist all right so I asked him one day, I was like, did you watch, I don't know how to, I was like, did you watch Stranger Things? He's like, nah, it was too dark for me. I was like, did you play D&D in high school? Because he's significantly older than me. He's like, he's in his 50s, I think, 50s or 60s. Like, generally an older dude, so I know like you were around in the time before video games and when D&D was super popular. So I was like, hey, yeah, did you like do D&D? He was like, nah, I wasn't into that. When guys were playing D&D or the jocks were playing sports, I was, I was out here just coding or whatever. I didn't get a chance to really enjoy it. So like, <laughs> what do you do for fun? <laughs> like my, my question is, what do you do for fun? So like he, I caught him, I overheard him saying he was gonna go get a beer on a Friday. Like for, dog, I, I think he is, but like, I wanna hear him laugh. Cause <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. So I say that because usually like the last thing if I can't reach somebody is usually their laugh will tell me how you are. Like you have a big bellowing laugh. That means you do have fun. You just don't do it here. If you have like a snicker, you're weird. Don't talk to me. Like, but like, I think I heard him laugh once and I'm gonna try to replicate this. And I swear to God, don't, don't judge me. But like, I promise you, I'm sitting here and I'm like, all right, let me hear Like, Maybe he, maybe he'll laugh. So he laughed one day and I swear to God, I swear on, most of the things that I love, this motherfucker said, <laughs> <coughs> Hold on, let me try that again, because that hurt. Because I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could replicate that again. But like, <laughs> it was like a dying hippopotamus hiccup or something. I don't know. But like, he fucking... He was like, <laughs> I'm like, are you, is that a laugh? What the fuck is going on? So like, I hit my ass, I go, yo, what are you doing? Yes, that was his sound. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm almost tempted. I'm tempted to see if I can convince him to do like a happy hour with the team. You ain't got to fucking pay old dude because i'm not gonna put that on you because you seem like the type of tight ass that'd be like nah we all gotta pay for our own drink so no i don't need you to say you're gonna pay just say you're gonna come out to a happy hour with us i i can listen let me tell you how i can handle that scenario and just leave if i don't want to be there no more <laughs> i will text a friend in a minute and be like yo in, in about four minutes call me and tell me there's an emergency you're locked out of your car or some shit that's all I gotta need. That's all I need. And then, then I'll be out of there. I'll be out of there so fast, but I just wanna, I just wanna see, I just wanna see him outside of the work environment. Cause I wanna see what kind of person he is. Like, I don't, I, I, I you know what? I'm gonna check tomorrow and I'm gonna give you all the information when I get back. I'm gonna check his hand to see if he's still married. Cause like I go into his office. And that motherfucker is listening 
to Christian folk music. Like, not like, you know the kind I'm talking about. Like, the youth pastor busting out the fucking acoustic guitar. That type of Christian folk music. Where it's just like, <laughs> I don't have any examples because this is not a music that I listen to. But you know what I'm talking about. And I know it's Christian faith music because I went, I was in the military. So, like, we would go to church specifically to get out of doing chores during basic training. And they there was a Christian like rock group band thing at the church that we would go to. And it was like very progressive, very white. You know, you know what I mean by, by what I'm talking about. You just got to think in your head. Like Camp Chippewa from Adam Family Values is very close to the type of music that he would listen to. If you know, if you understand that reference, perfect. If not, I'll think of another one in the process. But like walk into his office and he's listening to Christian folk music and the song that stuck out with me was there was one dude singing he was like nothing is impossible nothing is impossible he makes the dead rise from the ground that don't seem like something I'd want to praise like I'm not saying that God ain't cool I'm not saying that you know you can't be religious what I am saying is anything that can make something rise from the dead doesn't seem like something I want to fuck with. That's necromancy. Necromancy is technically a work of evil according to how the Bible plays. So, like, if if you're talking about necromancy and raising up the dead, you know, because his son, three days after he died, rose up from the dead, what are you telling me here? Like, are you, what are you saying? It's it's a small it's a small speaker like in his office like nobody hears it but him and then trust me I got these I got a f pair of headphones like this in and in, in both ears all day long it's L O X it's Jada Kiss it's Benny the Butcher fucking Conway the Machine fucking Jeezy Jay Z Beanie Siegel Freeway Cassidy like ninety nine Cassidy not new two thousand Cassidy fucking uh, Biggie Smalls fucking Snoop Wiz, currency, just all kinds of rapidy rap just flowing through my speakers every given moment. Or, you know, it could be like progressive house because that's what I listen to also. So like, you know, depending on the moment, it's just bars. So I don't hear, <laughs> I don't hear the shit that he's listening to, but like I go into his office and that's what he's got on. It's a low volume, but like, if listen, that's what you want to listen to while you're at work. Go ahead, man. I know black women, I know black people who listen to gospel music at work. So, like, I'm not going to knock you for listening to your God music, your fucking Jesus tunes while you're at work or whatever. But, like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? Like, <laughs> I think the most telling thing is, I think the most telling thing about that is he's listening to those Christian folk rock songs that, like, you don't need, like, actual musical skill to sing and perform. It's just, like, you got a, you got a little acoustic guitar and you had a song about Jesus, and you just sung it, <laughs> and and people bought the fucking album. So like, maybe that's what happened. I don't know, man. But like, you're not listening to dad rock. Like, if you listen to dad rock, I'd give you a pass. You know, like, dad rock would be cool. Uh, what else? Like eighties rock, eighties hair metal would be cool. Like, deaf, like, shit like that would be fine. Because you're old white dude, and I don't understand. But, like, Christian folk music? Oh, my God. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm pretty sure he's probably Republican, too. Like, <laughs> I'm glad we don't talk politics at work, because, boy. <laughs> Ruin your fucking day, old man. Everything you believe is a lie, and the, the model of yesterday's America does not work for today. What? Yeah, we should all be getting a living wage provided to us by the government and subsidized by our tax money. Our taxes should be done automatically, and I don't think we should all have to work for pittance. <laughs> Blow his head would explode off of his shoulders, man. Uh, 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 it's time to smoke. I gave you all the chat. Also, thank you all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in today. Uh, another episode of the Beware the Ides of March Madness Marathon. Uh, today is officially the Ides of March. Um, so watch it back if your name happens to be Caesar or you are a salad. Uh, because Brutus will come stab you in the chest. But as a little history lesson for you. 
I, <laughs> listen, I come into work at 7.58 and I clock in. There's another thing. <laughs> he told me I got to be in at work at my desk ready to go at 8 o'clock. You don't fucking walk in the door until 9.15. Suck my dick. You lucky I'm showing up and doing work at 8 o'clock. You fucking loser. If you're not here at 8 o'clock, work don't start till you get in. That's my fucking rule. Because if you can't abide by your own goddamn 8 o'clock rule, don't enforce that shit on me. I'm sorry. I had to get that out. God damn. But yeah, like, he, he's like, oh, you got to be here. At, you got to ready to go at 8 o'clock in the morning. Motherfucker, you ain't ready to go at 8 o'clock in the morning. So why do I got to be here at 8 o'clock ready to go? You don't get in the office until 9 o'clock minimum. The only reason you was here early today is because you had to go out of the office and do some other shit at 10, and that's why you were here. Because the last two weeks, you didn't show up until fucking 9 o'clock in the office. I don't want to hear shit about shit. <laughs> but I let it go because there's no HR department. Like, there's like, I got to let shit go because, you know, you paying me. I can't really rock the boat yet. Yeah, it's, it's small things where I can't, I, I'm like, I'm in a weird, I'm, not, I'm trying to get my shit together before I start looking for a new job. I got bills I'm catching up on, debts I'm paying off, and I'm trying to get all this shit back under me. So that way, if I do have to like take the unemployment route again, <laughs> I'm not behind anything. Like I'm on top of shit. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather be on top of shit. I could push them back for like a month or two. Like, hey man, leave me alone. Give me like a month. You know what I mean? But like, whoo. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> like, don't tell me to be at work at 8 o'clock and you not here. There's no reason for that. If you not, if you the boss aren't going to be here at 8, why do I got to be here at 8? You, you, the boss, the owner, the CEO, the micromanager, the fucking captain of this dumbass ship, if you not here at 8 o'clock, why do I gotta be here at 8 o'clock? Like, why? What is gonna happen? Because he's got... The funniest thing to me is I look forward to a company calling in with, like, I'm about to start telling people, hey, if you want to make a party call, call before 9. <laughs> like, how you gonna tell me? How you gonna tell me that I gotta be in? I gotta be to work at not at eight o'clock in the morning, but you don't get there till nine o'clock. So, like, if anybody calls with an actual issue between eight and nine, they just gotta wait. Cause I'm not, I'm not properly trained. Cause he won't properly train me to do everything I need to do with my job, and he's he's hiding it behind. Well, you're not A plus certified. The shit you want me to do ain't A plus certifications, man. I can read what the shit is. The same tickets coming every day. Same like five things. So I'm gonna do it once or twice. I can get it figured out. But like, I just want more. I just, I just really wish that company would start calling in like eight o'clock in the morning with priority shit. Oh, this is a priority call. Okay, I'll let him know. He's not in the office right now. He's probably still waking up. But, you know. But, like, it's weird to me because it's like you won't be in the office at 8, but you got your your fucking, you're connected through, like, 30 things. You're up at 6 a.m. responding to text messages because he's got this fucking platform where, like, you can read text messages to the work line on your phone. He's reading those at 6 or 7 in the morning. And getting them done as opposed to like just coming to the job like I, I i if you told me i had to be there at eight and you were there at eight cool i clocked in i got to work right at 7 55 one day and started like i made my breakfast like because i make i use the keurig machine to make a cup of oatmeal in the morning because it's you know it's oatmeal in the morning it's a good thing to eat so i make my cup of oatmeal one fucking morning i got into work at like 7 59 and I made my oatmeal first before I logged in the computer. I got a message later that day. Hey, if you're gonna be, if you you gotta you gotta be in at and, and at your desk and logged in at 8 a.m. I saw you logged in at 8:03. Excuse me. I'm clearly in the fucking office if I log in at 8:03. 
if the phone fucking rang, I couldn't do shit anyway, but transfer them to you. Or if it wasn't even, if they wasn't even a priority call, they wouldn't have been transferred to you anyway. So why does it fucking matter if I clock in at 8.03 or 8 fucking clock? I'm not coming in at 9.50. It's fucking four minutes at most. Cool the fuck out. Damn. Huh. I didn't forget my lettuce wrap. Anyway, let me tell you how bad I wanted to tell him to go straight to hell. Cause <laughs> eight oh three, dog. I uh, I'm I come into work at eight. I'm on time. I don't. I still don't wake up until like nine. Mentally, I'm not in work until nine o'clock. I don't know what you expect of me, bro. It is dumb early in the morning. If this. If this was still daylight savings time, it would still be dark outside. You need to fucking relax, dude. Like, it's not that big of a deal. The building's not on fire. What are you going to do? Ear. Oh. Oh, yeah, like... <laughs> Doubles down on the annoyance. What bothers me the most about it, right, is that <coughs> he'll do all that and he's monitoring from home. So <clears throat> if he's monitoring everything from his house at 8 a.m., that means you're up. That means you're technically paying attention to the job. Why don't you drag your old ass down to the, the building like everybody else at 8 o'clock? You want to chastise me for being three minutes late? I'll take it if you were in the fucking building. Don't be sitting here telling me from the comfort of your own crib in the bitter cold of the end of winter talking about, oh, you were three minutes late to work today. It is cold. I had just woken up within the last hour, and I haven't even had my breakfast yet. And this is how you want to start the day? Oh, bitch. <clears throat> I need to know why the other dude left. My coworker said he got a better opportunity. But did he get a better opportunity because he wanted one or because he was actively looking because the job he was at was ass? I got an email. I got an email from LinkedIn or Indeed, one of those fucking recruiter companies the other day that was offering like nine more dollars than my current job. And I almost jumped at the chance to get it because it was contracted. Because, like, I, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, eight oh, even at eight oh five, it ain't that big of a deal. Like, if I'm if I'm late, and like, if I'm late, and it's like ten minutes, okay, I can see that. But like, anything before ten minutes, you gotta relax, man. It could be traffic. You can't be more than 10 minutes early. That's weird. I hate I hate that rule. That was another rule I hated. Why can't I be early? I'm here. The fuck? I'm not... Just because I'm not doing shit, you mad? Like, that's, that's a stupid rule. <laughs> like, the one thing that really bugs me, if I go to work tomorrow and I show up at 7.30 in the morning, if I get there at 7.30 and log in and start my day and do everything I need to do, if I work, I won't be able to leave before 30. Because, and I quote, we can't have anybody leave early because we need phone coverage. Like, five minutes is grace, and it's covering, five minutes is the grace period you give people because there might have been some traffic on the road that they didn't account for, that they didn't know was going to be there. <laughs> oh, fuck it, you get me. I will be showing up to work at exactly 7.59. <laughs> like... Walk in the door at 7.59 every day. I'm here. Punch the clock at 8 o'clock. What's up? You are right on time. Yeah, can't be early. Can't be late. That's so I'm here. <clears throat> well, yeah, dog. That is, uh, that, that's, like, 
I don't mind, again, if you were at the job on the premises at 8 o'clock, okay, chew me out. You here, I get it. I'm here, I get it. But, like... <laughs> no, I mean if you if you cover the minutes that you were late on the back end, it doesn't fucking matter. You work the same amount of time. Like relax. Like I the only time I feel bad if I'm late is if somebody is like waiting for me to leave to relieve them. Like when I used to work as a waiter, I would hate being late because I know somebody was waiting to go home. And I, I, I'd be the catalyst for them to be late. Especially because I knew that at that time when I was a waiter, most of my other coworkers were taking a bus and time was like of the essence. <clears throat> Cause if you missed if you're if you're clocking out of your shift at if your shift is over at nine or if your shift is over at like three and you know it's over at three, you know what time the bus is coming, and you're trying to get out of the out of the building at the absolute latest, like three oh seven, because the bus gets there at like three ten. But if I'm late by five minutes, your your leave time is fucked up. So like that's different, motherfucker. We all got cars. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, motherfucker, we all got cars, bro. Like I'm not holding anybody up. And, like, the funniest, the most important, the most annoying, not important, the most annoying thing that happens with all this, right? He tells me and my other co-worker, you guys got to cover the phones, and you can't leave early, and you can't do this, you can't do that. <clears throat> but his daughter does everything that he says not to do. Everything. She comes in late, like, after 8.30, sometimes, like, 8.15. Like, it's just like, okay. And then, uh... She'll take longer lunches, and then she'll leave early. Like, all of these varying things. And I'm just sitting here like... Word? <clears throat> but, like, it, my whole thing is the fact that there's inconsistencies. Like, the biggest issue is the inconsistencies of it all, man. Like, if there's going to be an issue with people being on time, be on fucking time for everybody. Like, the other day, she was like, what do you mean? I, I had said something where, like, I was like, yeah, 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 you got to be careful because your dad is a stickler for time. And she was like, what do you mean? I was like, uh, he's very punctual. Because, I mean, stickler for time, very punctual, same thing. So the next day... This bitch decided to show up at 8 of fucking clock on the dot. I'm sorry, it was 8.05 when she got in. But you know what? For her, that was an accomplishment. I was, I was fucking surprised. She caught me off guard. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so you're early as hell. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking at that today. <clears throat> but like, like, don't... I get it. It's nepotism. There's nothing I can do about it. It sucks. It's the way of the world. But my issue, again, and I stand on this, if I can't be late <clears throat> by a minute, she fucking can't be late by a minute. Just don't. Because now I'm going to be mad, and I'm going to show up late one day, and I'm going to be like, well, listen, last time I checked, Cat was late four times in a week. So, like, either we all got the same rules, or, like, you can admit you're playing favorites. Because, <clears throat> like, he wants to build a, a really good culture around the job. A good office culture. Good office, good office culture isn't your daughter being allowed to do whatever the fuck she pleases while the other two employees got to sit on these short leashes. And... <clears throat> I have a cube. There's five people in the office. I have a cube that's up to here at my desk, bro. It's five of us. Five. Two people don't even work in the office. Why the fuck do we have cubes, bro? Like, why? Why is it not an open floor plan? 
I went to an office <clears throat> in the same building down the hall. They're like a law firm or some shit. They got an open floor plan situation where like all the, the they have like a little cube set up, but like instead of having the six foot cube wall, it's a fucking it's a low cube wall. It's just like like the the way the desks are set up in the office, the show, just like that. Why the fuck do we need to be isolated from each other with these high ass cubes, man? Like that's <laughs> Don't ask me to raise morale. How can we raise morale? Taking, taking this, take these walls down, man. Take all four of these dumbass cubicle walls down. Out of here. Move them along. The only thing I'm gonna lose from that is my hanging spot for my keys. That's it. I don't even know what the answer is because we allowed to, we're allowed to play music in our headphones. So like, if. <laughs> If I'm listening to music in my headphones and I see the phone ring, what? How am I distracting somebody else? Like, I can still hear somebody on the phone with the cube. So, like, what's the point of the cube? If I cut a fucking hole in this bitch because I want to see my coworkers, you're going to be mad at me. <clears throat> but, like, why? Like, I. Right, like, but, like, <laughs> the other part is I'm the only person that does my particular job at the job. It's him who's in his little office now with the door. And then there's like my section where it's like me, the, the, the public relations person, the office manager, and then like the part timer desk. Why can't we have the low cube wall? Like what's the point of having this high ass thing? Like I don't want, why, can, why do I have to be isolated from my coworker? I mean, we're at work. If, if I'm bothering my coworker and they say, hey, leave me alone, you would think that'd be enough, right? Or, like, maybe maybe you couldn't be deal with the fact that you could see other people when you work. Maybe he eats his boogers and didn't want nobody to see it. Maybe that's what it was. <clears throat> but ultimately, why do I have to suffer? Uh, why do I, I can't I see my coworkers? Like, I don't even care what y'all are doing. It's just why does there why is there isolation this wall that's just like segmenting me off from everybody else? It's like it's not a welcoming environment. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like I come into work, I sit at my desk, I don't interact with nobody, and I'm like, why why do I have to sit behind this cube to act like I'm I'm in detention or some shit? Like, and what I hate. What I really hate the most is, like, I know he's looking at me beyond my phone when he walks by. And, like, I hate it because it's, like, one, I'm an adult, dude. If I'm on my phone, I'm probably on it for a reason. Two, what are you mad? That I'm done everything you need me to do? Like, if you gave me if you gave me everything I needed to succeed now, you wouldn't have to worry about me being on the phone because I'd be done the shit you sent me to do. So he was all like, well, I got a new, you got to do this new thing. It's got four servers on there. Uh... It's going to take you a minute. I was done what he wanted me to do in about an hour. The only reason I had to wait is because I didn't have the proper logins. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I was stuck until he got back. So I was just like, whatever. So I went to ask him, like, hey, can you help me, you know, get this stuff? And he's like, oh, you know, I'm in the middle of something right now. We'll look at it in a minute. Like, I'm just going to lunch then. <laughs> and I took, I'll come back when you're done, man. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to fucking carve out time to allow me to do my work you know i need these logins they're the same logins i need every time so if you assign me a fucking task why don't you assign me the fucking login too so i can log into the shit and do the part that i need to do to do the job damn it's all right
Anyway, how was y'all's day? Yeah, dude. Listen, Kai, trust me. I know. <laughs> but I mean, listen, if you're going to get mad that I don't have, that I'm not doing enough work, that means you not giving me enough work to keep me busy. All I got to do for a ticket that comes in that's in my wheelhouse, so to speak, is just move it to the trash. That takes all of two seconds. So, like, what am I supposed to do in the time it takes me to move 15 tickets, 30 seconds, to the trash and wait for the next task? Like, if I get all of the tickets out of the way, you want me to just look at the tickets that are left in the thing and just look at them? Like, why would I look at something I can't do? Like, I don't want to just sit there and look at it. Show me what the fuck can do so I can go knock out this problem. Like how can I, how do I investigate this? How would I start the investigation? Like what like what do you want me to do? <laughs> like I can't take it. So what the fuck? So I yeah I, I can't like what do we do? But <laughs> I don't put up listicles on YouTube. Like it's just it's just annoying because it's like Doug I'm willing to work and do work put the work in front of me, but if you don't put the work in front of me, you want me to just sit here and twiddle my fucking thumbs? I'm gonna text my friend. Or be in a chat or fucking Discord while I wait for you to give me something to do. Like, I'm not watching videos on my phone. I mean, you might walk by and see some ass on my Instagram scroll one time. But hey, maybe you see something you like. You know? Leave me the fuck alone. It's just Instagram ass. It ain't naked. I'm not scrolling through my Reddit feed. Or my dirty Twitter. Shit. I got a dirty Twitter. Don't judge me. I keep them separate so I can know what I'm looking at at all times on each Twitter. My Reddit, my secondary Reddit feed is absolute filth. Don't judge me for that either. Like, I will doom scroll at work, and the problem is I don't even want to do it. That's the funniest part. Like, I don't even want to doom scroll at work, but, like, I don't have shit to do. So, like, what do you want me to do? I'm going to doom scroll out of boredom. So my homegirl, y'all might know the name, Roxy Hayes, has a TikTok up. She's getting free promo on my channel, and I don't like doing this. But she uh, she put a promo up where somebody had DM'd her and asked her for a number to a connect that she knew. That's funny because it's like, okay, you sent money to somebody who's in that circle who would know somebody that that you're trying to get in touch with, right? Okay, that's a little bit extra and that doesn't really work out for the best if you do that. But you know what, do you. She sent him a fake number, that's fine. The funniest thing is, that's not the worst version of that. I go over to my brother's house. This is my new favorite story. And I wanna tell this to the high heavens now the more I get a chance to do it. Welcome to story time with the Grouch. I, I, how can I say this? Okay, my brother's the plug, right? So, like, I hang out with him all the time. But, like, his plugness is a really good reach. He's got, like, a broad range of people that come through and hang out. So, like, it's anywhere from, like, extremely thugged out, actual real-life gangsters to, like, model as, like... You might not think that, but the dudes that come around think that these are model-esque bitches, right? And then you have 
pardon my French, my less women. I apologize. I, I tend to slip in and out of hood speech from here and there. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do better. Um, so like there's these model shorties that like model S shorties that come through. There's me, the grouch who's just like, you know, I, I fit in like a bunch of the bills. There's like the extra nerdy old white dude who's like bad at conversation. There's like the gamer friends, like the, the, the off kilter gamer friends. Um, and, and like, it's just a broad spectrum of people. And like one day we were at the crib and I, I was, I was like in between jobs and also incredibly high. So I wasn't paying too much attention. And then like my, our one collective homie came in, he was chilling, he sat down, we was all doing our thing. And one of, one of the people came through uh, for the regular business, right? And she was pretty attractive. I'm not going to lie. She, you know, she's built right, had her head on her shoulder. She was cool. And, like, I was just being generally grouchy. I don't necessarily like talking to new people. Like, I'm really bad about it. Because, like, I don't, I don't really care what you got going on most of the time. Unless, like, the setting was, hey, we're meeting new friends. All right, I'll be personable. But you got to, like, warm me up to that. Like, if I just walk in the house and it's, like, you... And this is, like, a lot of my homies never understood this about me. If I, if I, we walk into a crib, right, I have different types of friends. I, four of us will walk into a crib. My one homie will head straight to the liquor table and the bar. My one homie will find the closest gaggle of, of women, shorties, and try his best to peacock around them in some form or fashion. My other homie, he'll just, like, he ends up making a round at the party and like kind of daps everybody up. Me, I dap up two people, find me a drink, find the weed section, sit down, and I'm stuck here. Or like there's a TV or a game, that's where I'm at. I'm not bothering the women folk, I'm not bothering the men folk, I'm entertained here, I got my smoke, I'm in the mix, I got the cup of juice, because I don't drink liquor like that, I'm in the mix, I'm listening to the conversation, Every now and again, my brother will pull me into the conversation because I don't care. He'll be like, yo, come here real quick. Tell him about the time. And then I go in a tangent and everybody's laughing and I go sit back down because I don't want to be bothered. I'm just here to get out the house. I am Alessia Cara to the bullshit. So if you don't know, I'll put the song in Discord so you know how I feel. But if you do know, that song is dope. So anyway, I'm Alessia Cara to the bullshit of the party, right? I know dudes who will peacock all over the place. I come into my brother's house. This very attractive woman is on the couch and she's making the business transaction. I come in. I say my piece. I sit down. I'm on my phone. Parent her no fucking mind, right? My, <laughs> my other homie comes in and he's like, he's in full peacock mode. Hey, hey what's up? How you doing? What's the da 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 He hits it off. I make a joke. She laughs. I did my part for the day. If I wanted to, if I wanted to try to shoot some sort of game at her, I would have attempted something more than like one joke. But that's what I do. I make a joke. I leave it alone. I call it a day. So he's still trying. I know this story got wound off of the point about Roxy Hayes getting paid for a number, but here's the kicker. He hits my boy up. He's like, yo, I will give you $100 to just tell her that I'm interested. <laughs> he didn't say $100 for the number. He didn't say $100 to, like, call her back in here real quick because she forgot something. No. I will give you $100 to tell her that I'm interested. My guy. We just sat in the living room for, like, an hour and a half with the shorty. You was there with me. I was there with you. We both saw you sitting there talking to her. He went up. My homie went upstairs and did his house shit for, like, 25 minutes. And you were still there talking to this shorty. And at no point did you say, hey, can I get your number? No, <laughs> none of that. <laughs> just literally was just sitting there chatting her up. And then, like, he decided he wanted to talk to her after she left. It was like, I'll pay you $100 to give me to tell her that I'm interested. Bro, I lost it. <laughs> I'm all for helping the homies out if they need it. Like, you know, like I'll go break the ice at a table full of shorties. You know what I mean? Because I, 
that's what I do. I break the ice for anybody. I'll, like, if you send me over to the table full of... No, he wasn't kidding. He was dead fucking serious. That's why it's hilarious. When we, when we used to go out to the bar, right, and, like, everybody was trying to mack on somebody... If I went, they send me at the table. What up, Tito? They'd always send me to the table first, right? Because I had, I was, I would do sales. He could have told her himself for the free. He could have. Like I used to do sales. I used to do customer service. So like I used to have magnanimous opening conversation. I spark up a conversation and be like, "Yo, what's up?" Blah, say blah, bing, bang, boom. Uh, you know, yada, 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 yada. Conversation going. Hey, this is my friend. Hey, this is my friend. Everybody engaged in conversation at the table now. I stopped doing that because I stopped caring about people. So, like, (laughs) unfortunately, my conversation is very minimal. And, like, if I don't get, like, immediately, I give up. Like, I, I, so, I'm sitting there. We just, like I said, I came over to the crib. I was minding my business. I had my head in the clouds. We all was chilling. She was about to leave. She was prepping for her night for the evening. Dude was like, hey, tell your homegirl that I'm interested. After he talked to her for like an hour and a half. So I said the exact same thing that you said, Kai. I'm like, weren't you sitting on the same couch for like the the whole time, like like the last hour? Like, why did you just say something, man? Like, why did you not just say, hey, you know, you're kind of dope. Can I get your number? Like, or whatever. Like, I mean, maybe we could talk a little later or some shit. Like, maybe I could... Like I, you know what's weird? I don't know how to even approach the dating scene properly anymore. Like, I got my shorty by offering to make her friends toast. No, I fucking, I like y'all. I fucking hate people. Like, if, hold on. Let me finish this story. I'm going to tell you about the time I cursed somebody out over burrito. So, we fucking, I'm fucking like, yo, he's like, yo, uh, let me just, just tell her I'm interested. I'm like, and I'm just talking to myself. And, and my brother's telling me this. I'm like, dog, we were downstairs for an hour talking chilling i think he had something on tv so i was just like double zoned out i had my phone and the fucking the thing on tv was going and i'm just like what the fuck all right whatever and you know she came she left oh hang on hold on time out one second be right back
conversation that I got a phone call for was about to get really in depth and I had to cut that shit off before I almost like <laughs> left y'all and be right back for like an hour. Um, I'm back as you see. Uh, I'm going to put a little background music back on because Fist has really good background music. Like I really like this shit. Um, yeah. All right, background music is back. So, yeah, essentially, what was that? Yeah, so essentially, man, them was like, yeah, dog, just give her, just tell her I'm interested or whatever. See if she's up for it. It's a hundred bucks. Easiest hundred dollars you ever made. Wildest shit I ever seen. Uh, as far as Kai's question, yes, uh, I'm terrible with people, and I ended up getting my girl through French toast. So like, she was like, oh, I'm hungry. Blah blah blah. I just want some French toast. I was like, I'll cook it for you, right? She was like, what? I was like, I'll make you French toast. Mind you, I ain't never made French toast in my life. I barely make pancakes. And if it's not a toaster waffle or a waffle maker, I'm just not going to do it. Right? Normally, normally that's how I am. Well, I decided to make French toast. Because, I mean, I know how to cook. And it ain't that hard. I looked up like eight different French toast recipes. <laughs> I weighed the concept of which breads to use. Like, I did a whole lot of pre-prep for the French toast. Like, I'm talking like, if I was going to use white bread, which white bread would I use? Would it be Wonder Bread? Would it be like Strowman? Is it the big slices, the little slices? What's going to give me the most bread to 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 mixture ratio? You know what I mean? Uh, all that shit. I, got, I, went, I went in. And then like, the French toast was good. So I did it again. And then like, that's, that's how we... We started talking because of the French toast, and then like everything else just follows suit because that's it. Just is what it is. If I I'm interested in you and I want you as my significant other, I will tell you that and I will honor those those things. Like yo, look, that's that's what it is. But yeah, um, yeah. So like, I thought that was funny that she that Roxy was like, yeah, somebody paid me a hundred dollars for this number, and <laughs> the number they got wasn't even the number. They were idiots essentially. Uh, that's essentially what happened. They were just a bunch of dummies. Um, oh, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to. I'm not even going to track it. Oh, I don't have my second Facebook. Yes, I do. Ah. Resin. Ah. So, today, my mom has been texting me telling me that um, her friends keep hitting her up and telling her that she is sending out friend requests to them. And I'm just like, 
How? <laughs> you don't. You can't send friend requests if your page already exists. That's the first thing. <laughs> That's the very first thing. Like you can't send friend requests if your if your uh, page. You, like if you're already a friend, you can't send out a friend request. Like, you know what I mean? Like you can't double up. It doesn't make sense. So she's all like, "Am I being hacked?" And I'm like, "No, you're not being hacked, but." somebody is pretending to be you uh yeah somebody's pretending to be you on facebook i found it hang on let me um i'll be right back yo give me just like one second uh i gotta call my mom and explain to her <laughs> what's going on i'm not even gonna hang up i'm just gonna i'll just be right here give me a second I'm not gonna go to the be right back screen. I'll just be right here. Hold on.
Dog, there should be. I I might. I know that people do it on YouTube, but I might start charging twenty five dollars. Okay, I might start charging like twenty five dollars a person just to protect your parents' Facebook page. Cause I know people don't want to do it. <laughs> Cause it's just like, my, why don't you fucking listen? Like, it's not. It's not a difficult thing. Put your Facebook on private, and you know deal with it that way, but no, and now I gotta go log into my mom's Facebook account, change her privacy settings, update her damn password to some 2021 anti-hacker shit, and call it a day. I hate it. I also hate that, uh, that faith. I also hate that Facebook is everywhere now that nobody can, like, no. Never. privacy checkup <clears throat> the easiest part yeah continue so I'm just essentially doing this now uh, <laughs> Shit. Um, ooh. Yeah. Use this. I don't know what part it is. We'll remove Airbnb though. I am really sitting here. God damn it. I'm sorry, y'all. The only good consolation I have for you is you don't have to watch me do this. You just watch me over here. Um, any other questions? Kai, Tito, while I'm sitting here, if I still got y'all, I might have lost y'all at some point in the shuffle, but I got the music in the background. I was gonna go do the game, but then this happened. What the fuck is parchment? You know what? Who cares? You're removed also. Get all this shit out of here. Campaigns on Woobox. Goodbye. What the fuck is Woobox? Move. Move! I'll leave iOS, because it's from the iPhone. Review another topic.
back one more time. Hang on a sec. I, you know what? I'm going to save you all the trouble because it's almost time for me to stop. It's been 2 and 15. So we got these last two minutes. I'm going to tell you all in the nicest way possible. We're going to go visit a friend, uh, a country person, if you will, of the streaming world. One of my favorite uh, streamers now. They've climbed the ladder of streamer friends. Um, if you guess who we're going to go see, I'll be impressed. But you can, because it's Tuesday, so you know it's not, we're not going to go see Dip. And this is not nicer of a statement than, <laughs> than if I was going to go see Dip. So we're not going there. But if y'all want to guess where we're going, you can attempt. Um, I'm heading over to a homie getting his raid ready now. Because I'm, I'm not going to be able to catch exactly 2.15, which I wanted to do. I didn't realize how much time was going. But, like, I'll get us going there head up and roll out do it and go wherever you gotta go uh so like look if you want to make a raid message if you want to if you want to fucking get freaky with the fucking emotes or however you want to do it that's fine you don't have to because i i probably wouldn't do it because i'm lazy but like if you want to go ahead and grab uh a raid message and be like yeah we just left from frank fucking stream and we over here fucking around with the infamous or whatever. I mean, say what you want to say, however you want to say it. We're going to go see Infi. So, saddle up, little doggy. Gather your shit. Fucking get on the horse. Yada, yada, yada. And, uh, let's go hang out at Infi's page. Let's go fucking get wicked over there and laugh as they begin their whatever, dog. Uh, y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm talking. I'm rambling. I gotta do this fucking Facebook thing. I'm gonna go the rest of this high. And, uh, yeah. Here. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. Bye.